Richie, when you reflect on the first game, the, the Roma coach, particularly in his own country, got a huge amount of stick for the way that he set up in the game, that he did something that he doesn't normally do. Liverpool tore them asunder in that kind of 30-odd minute spell with their goals. I think the criticism he got was completely justified. Um, they usually play 4-3-3 all season and they went 3-5-2 against Barcelona when, of course, they needed to recover a three-goal deficit and they did that. But to go with this approach at Anfield, if you play three at the back, one of the things you're inevitably going to do is you're going to leave space in the wide areas. Now, that's fine if you're against two central strikers, maybe, who want to stay centrally, but you're up against three Liverpool forwards who you know want to get into wide areas. So in that regard, I think he played into their hands. And the second thing I think he did wrong, which was very difficult to understand, they played with a very high line, which again, it's no big deal. Maybe if you're up against a slow pair up front, maybe a central striker who's very tall and is not that mobile. But again, you're not. You're dealing with three very, very quick players. And to give them that much space in behind them, I think you're setting up in a way that if you were managing a team who has those three players, you would actually select your opponents to play that way because it maximises the amount of damage you can do. He has said tonight, coming into to this evening's game, he wants the players to come out with a different approach and to raise the bar in every area and how they approach the game. And I think he's the one who was most culpable from the first. You can see here, three players centrally. Salah, again, will find plenty of space behind them. At this stage, they can't put in a tackle. They don't know what to be doing. So he's always a threat. And even here, we'll stop it there. These are the three central back three they're going man for man on the front three which again is a very very high risk strategy against anyone particularly against players of this quality who'll do that to you so these are all this footage all happened in the opening five or ten minutes these are the warning signs and they didn't heed them whatsoever this is into the second half now a player of his quality i don't know how you can switch off to this extent to give him that much space but it all comes from the setup you can look at the dejected players from roma Again, look, stop it here. This is just a real-time example. Look at how much space they're leaving here. And this is completely predictable because if you set up with a team with those three in the middle, that's exactly what you're going to do. So they took a, pace in, a, a pounding in the opening period of that first leg. Completely expected, completely deserved. It was very, very naive and foolish to go with that setup against, uh, against um, Liverpool at Anfield. And tonight they've changed it. They're going with a back four. You won't have these kind of problems. The difficulty they're going to have now is do Kolarov and Florenzi attack or do they stay back? If they attack, they leave space. Well, not only are they going with a back forward, they have changed some of the personnel. Yeah, Juan and, Jesus, uh, is, Jesus no is not playing. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, uh, if he had a left Salah on last week, Dara, I honestly think Liverpool could have won Dumb. eight. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so much more solid uh, Roma team.